In this video, I'm going to teach you how to keep tabs on your web host provider. And I'm talking about being notified when your website's down. Now, your web host doesn't want you to know when your website's down because it's probably going to upset you, especially if it's used for something that is important and gets a lot of traffic. Now, if you're not using a website monitoring tool, you'll never know how good or bad your web host is. Now, a lot of the um, web hosts out there, uh, they've got some issues and they're not necessarily going to want to notify you if your site's up or not. So that's why you've got to use a tool in order to keep tabs on it. Now, I suggest and always recommend that you go with InMotion Hosting. They have a really good hosting plan and I've got info on them down below. And if you head over to my website at wpcrafter.com, I've got a list of my recommended providers at the different tiers of, you know, what you need, whether it's basic, whether you have a high traffic site or whatever, I've got all that there for you. But this video is about keeping tabs on your web host. So I've been using a free service and surprising it's free and very useful and it's been that way for many years. And it's called Uptime Robot. It's a free online tool, and I'm going to show you how to set it up right now so that you could begin to know what's really going on with your website and its uptime. So um, just go to uptimerobot.com, and this is the page that you'll see. Now they've got a paid plan and they've got a free plan, and their free plan is incredibly generous. Essentially, what their free plan is going to do is uh, you can monitor up to 50 websites. I, I only use it for two or three, but you can use it for 50 websites, and it will check every five minutes to see if that website is up or not. Now, if you wanted the paid version, I think uh, it's not limited to 50. Uh, it'll check every one minute instead of every five minutes, and I think you can also get text message notifications. So. Anyways, uh, right here uh, is the website. You can check it out, but go ahead and click on the sign up free option right here and set up that process. Now, I'm not going to click and show you that. I mean, it's simple name, email, whatever, but I'll show you what happens when you log in because I'm logged into my uh, account with Uptime Mon uh, Robot right now. And you can see right here on the left, I have uh, three websites loaded. I've got the one that is my personal website. It's, got, it's tied to my name. Uh, this is uh, something, uh, the dashboard is what I use to monitor all my WordPress sites and do updates and backups and just maintain and manage all those sites using uh, a platform. And then here it is, WP Crafter. Now here um, you see right here um, the percentage of time that it's been up versus down. So when you go to a web hosting provider, they'll say, we guarantee this percentage of uptime, 99.999 or whatever. No one can really give you 100% uptime. Um, so you can see WP Crafter has been up 99.69% of the time. And that is um, uh, since I've been monitoring it through this application. And you can see some info here on the right when I click on it. Uh, it's going to show some info here on the right. So here's some uh, stats right here. Uh, last 24 hours, 100%. Seven days, 100%. Last 30 days, it's been 99.69%. Now, I will tell you, I'm going to show you how to set up a monitor, but I will tell you that this is pretty accurate, but sometimes it's catching when I might be doing an update or changing something and it might get reported as down or something along those lines when the site isn't really down. Um, it's just that I'm playing around and, and tweaking something. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but down here, it'll tell you um, uh, some of the up and down events. Uh, so you can see uh, right here it was down a minute, right here it was down a minute, right here it was down a minute. Um, so uh, that's me doing stuff. So that is factored in a bit into the 99.69% here. So, all right, um, you're probably just going to want to know how to set up a monitor. It's super easy. Uh, you would click this plus here that says add new monitor. 
And then it says monitor type, and there are several types. Uh, just choose HTTPS. So basically, it's going to see if the website is up, if it can go to the, the URL and see if your website's up. So just create an HTTP uh, monitor. And you can put a friendly name. So when you saw it say WP Crafter right here, that's the friendly name I put. But right here is where I put www.wpcrafter.com. And here you can set the monitoring interval. I set mine to the fastest it'll allow me on this free account, which is every five minutes. And then right here, you need to select an alert email or a way to be alerted. Um, so uh, I only have an email address in there, and you can change, you can add things in the settings, ways of being notified. Let me actually show you that. So, anyways, you just fill this out and then click on Create Monitor, and you don't hear from them at all unless your website goes down. They'll send you a message, an email when they notice it down, and then they'll send you one when they notice it go back up. So usually if it goes down, then you know, okay, let me uh, look for myself, and then let me go and contact the web hosting provider. But if I go into my settings right here, I've got the free account, and if I scroll down, here's your ways of being contacted. So I can click right here, add alert contact, and then here's these different ways of, of integrating this with uh, other types of uh, services. So you can be notified via instant message, via something called Slack, uh, which is enterprise instant messaging, Twitter, all these things. Um, so uh, I just use email. Uh, so there's other things you can do. Email's just fine with me. I mean, I get emails right away on my phone. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and close it and uh, go back here. So uh, that's all there is to it, to really keeping an eye on your web host because they're not going to keep an eye on it for you. I mean, some web hosts are really proactive and if something goes down, they get an alert. But some web hosts, they're not. They're not proactive at all. If something goes down, um, they, they wait till someone tells them it goes down or complains about it. So that's why it's important for you to know what's going on with your website and your web hosting provider. Yes, you made it to the end of the video, which must mean that it brought value to you. So can you go ahead and click on the thumbs up down below? That'll help me out. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to click on the subscribe button right down below me. Now, if you want to find me on the internet, I've got a special Facebook group that I set up for people just like you that want answers to their WordPress website. And that's where you can find me, interact with me, and ask me questions. So go ahead and click on on the blue button down below to join that special Facebook group. Now, I never want you to leave empty handed, so I've created a free video course for you called the Three Steps to WordPress Success. In this video course, you're gonna really learn how to make your website shine, get the results that you want, and have it really stand out from the crowd. So to access that free video course, go ahead and click on the link over here on the right. You can also find me at wpcrafter.com. Make sure you check out my 60 minute website challenges. Those are very popular and you can find those on the website as well. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I make these videos just for you and I hope you watch the next one.